R&M Speltz Farms coming at you today with some farm cameras. You know, we've had cameras in the stalls for a while, folks, and it really helps us with the animals. But uh, unfortunately, due to theft and, you know, snowmobilers and a few other things happening in our place, it's time to invest in uh, one of these Lorax do-it-yourself camera installs. And what you're looking at here is the opening of the POE um, power, you know, um, switch. And then um, a couple of the cameras that we bought. We bought two different styles. One is kind of a overhead mount with a, a globe that can move around called a PTZ camera. It has a really nice connection here on it. Comes with 100 feet of cable um, and all the assembly parts. Um, this is actually a kit and it comes with um, the Lornex um, DVR or NVR, I should say. They call it an NVR. And it comes with uh, easy hookup charts, diagrams, and pages how to hook it up, including the switch. So what this system is, is basically an NVR, which is a recording device, which runs on, um, you know, Cat 5 or 6 cable. And um, it goes, one cable goes um, from this switch to the NVR, and then the cameras go into um, either the NVR or the switch, depending upon which building we're in. And then... Um, the uh, main NVR plugs into the internet. It's supposed to be pretty uh, self-sufficient um, packaging and equipment and everything for you just to put it together, um, build, operate it, and get it online. And I'm quite used to camera systems, so I thought I'd give this a try. I've, I've never, I've never used one of these that um, you know is kind of plug and play like this, so I'm giving it a try. So the first thing I had to obviously install was the switch in the barn. I had to plug it in and then um, run the um, six or seven cameras to this, and then run one line of uh, cable to the NVR. And then uh, as far as cameras go, like I said, I used a couple different types. Um, they're all these high definition 4K ones. Um, the two types I used was a fixed mount and a PTZ, which is one that you can kind of move and pan and tilt and zoom kind of thing. And uh, I'm, I'm hoping they work really not, well, nice. I hope they're really, crisp and clear. So at this point, you know, it's it's really kind of a, a virgin deal. I'm trying to get the doors of the shop, um, trying to get some of the horse stalls, trying to get the backyard, the front yard, certainly trying to get the driveway entrance, trying to get the tractor entrance, and, and try to get um, the big arena and some of the storage facility stuff so that we can protect it better um, when, when people access the farm and we don't want them to. And plus, it'd be nice to record it versus some of the cameras that we use in the place um, just go through the internet and don't record. We're gonna put one up in the corner of that door. It's gonna see everything. It mounts pretty easy, it looks like, just three screws. So up on the wall, we're gonna get the three screws up there. I don't have the camera in position yet. But you can see there's kind of like a one foot cable there that plugs in. Out in the arena, I'm gonna show you how this one installed. Um, had to buy some real long, uh, you know, internet cable or Cat6. And we ran it all the way back into the shop, right along the wall, the tools there. Um, and it, you see there's multiple lines there. It's not one, just one cord. There's multiple cords. Because I put um, in this part of the facility several up, um, which, which helped a lot. And then um, in the house, we attached it to a TV. Now, you don't actually need a TV with this. You can just, you know, put this online and use your cell phone. But um, since we had a monitor laying around, um, that's high definition. We decided to do it. I've got it on the 16 camera display here. I'm, I'm only using uh, 14 of the cameras right now because that's all we needed. I got the front door, I got the back door, I got the arenas, the barns, uh, I've got the vehicles and the tractors, and I can just switch it here to um, show you the, the back area, the backyard. It is snowing just a tad here, um, believe it or not. Um, it's still cold in Minnesota a little bit. This is our south yard at night. I just kind of wanted to show you what the um, night vision looks like on some of these high definition cameras. I, I think it looks fantastic and for night vision This is perfect. There are no lights out there. It, it's black right now out there folks So that's lit up all by the, the cameras themselves I get a chance here. I'm gonna switch it to the indoor too. So you can kind of see the uh, indoor area We chose to for right now um, put one down by our aquarium sump in the play area so that my wife when she's working can can keep track of the little kids um, that's one we've actually wanted down there for a while and just, just haven't done. And another one that we wanted to make sure that we had um, was, was the kitchen area. And, and the kitchen area is more for pass-through reasons. Um, but um, again, we need to make sure things are getting made and done. And sometimes we have things on the counter and, and that's just kind of been a pain. Um, so we're going to highlight that. 
This is a screenshot of my phone. This is what it looks like on my phone. Now granted, this is a still shot. It's actually video on the phone and you can tap each one of these with your finger and it becomes the full screen. It was really easy to set this up. I would say that I installed the NVR in about an hour. I had to switch up and within a half hour and had all the cameras up within about six to eight hours and the whole system running within a day or two. Um, so again, here's the kitchen camera. Um, I don't know if we'll leave this camera in place or not, but I put it in the kitchen so I could show you color. It really works well. Um, again, these are all the cameras that we've got so far. We've got space for on this screen two more, or I could flip it to the next screen and add a whole bunch more. I think these are going to be great for security on the farm, folks. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and support us on the RM Spelts Farm channel and Reef DVMs, and we'll keep putting out great videos like this.